Bokeh tov yeladim! Welcome to our second Kabbalah Shabbat online on YouTube! Now, I know it's not the same as a regular Kabbalah Shabbat, but we're going to try and make it today just as fun. We've even got sort of like a little bit like a Shabbat table. And fortunately I don't really have any guests. I would bring, actually, all of you are my guests. So welcome to my Kabbalah Shabbat, Shabbat table. Hmm. If that was someone knocking at my door, just ignore that. If it's one of my siblings, I'll just tell them I'll play with them later. Anyway, as I was saying, um, okay, someone is literally really knocking at my door. I wonder who it is. I think it's one of my siblings. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, so knocking at my door. Knock. Let me all see your knocking hands. Let's hear you. She does it all the time. There's a dinosaur. Let me see your hands. Knocking at my door, and she wants to have Shabbat. Wants to have Shabbat. Wants to have Shabbat with me and you and us and them and we and they and everybody in the whole wide world. So that was a nice song everybody, thank you so much for joining in. I just wanted to let you all know that at some point we might have some surprise guests. Hmm, who might they be? You'll have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. So, as we all do in school, how do we start Shabbat? We start by lighting our Shabbat candles. Now I've got candles over here, we're not going to light them for real because it, we want to be safe and not downstairs. So we're just going to pretend to light our Shabbat candles and from home you can also pretend to light them with me. So let's cover our iron. One, two, three. Baruch Ata Hashem. Elokeinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Kedeshanu Bemitzvotav. Betsivani Lahadlik Neshal Shabbat. Amen. You can wish your family and friends. Pretend if they're not sitting next to you. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, now that we've lit the Shabbat candles, I think we're going to go somewhere special. Now we're not actually going to go. We're going to go, we're going to pretend to go to shul. And as we go to shul, who can tell me what do we do when we go to shul? That's right, we're going to sing another song together. This time we are going to sing the Hadodi. And guess what? It's the one that all of you participated in. That's right, it's the Fan Shabbat UK one. So sing along with me. Aladdin, thank you so much for joining in. It makes it so much nicer. Right, now that we've come back from shore, should we start our Friday night dinner? Now we're going to pretend lots of things because, as I said to you, we're not really doing Kabbalah Shabbat. We're just pretending to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our meal by... That's right, we're going to make Kiddush. So over here I've got my lovely Kiddush cup and we're going to pretend to pour some grape juice in our Kiddush cup. What bracha are we going to say, Aladdin? That's right, we're going to say Hakafen. We're going to pretend to say Hakafen. Oh, hold them very still, careful. That's right, we don't want to spill any grape juice anywhere. That would be a bit of a disaster. Right, should we say the bracha together? Baruch Ata Hashem. Elokeinu melech ha'olam. Borei periha Amen. 
Okay, let's pretend to wash our hands for our mopsy. One, two, one, two. And let's pretend that we've just said Baruch Amiti let it down. And let's say Hamotzi together. Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lecha Min Ha Aretz Amen. Let's pretend to eat some chala. Hmm, what else might you imagine that might be eating? Ooh, what did you say? Chicken soup. Ooh, yummy. That makes me very hungry when I hear the word chicken soup. And what else? Ooh, you're having some chicken at home. Ooh, that's very nice. And what, what did you say you're having? Oh, yum! Chocolate cake for dessert? Definitely making me very hungry. Okay, as promised, now we're going to read a lovely storybook, and this book's called Here Comes Shabbos. And we're going to say Shabbat, because it means the same thing. Right, who would like to see what this book's all about? I think it's all about preparing for Shabbat. If we look at the lovely pictures over here. So let's open it up. And we're going to read the story that's got lovely illustrations in here, and that's why I love this book. And it also rhymes, so that's lots of fun. Definitely join in with me if you think you know what it might, what it might be saying next. <coughs> Sorry. Everyone's running. So much to be done. Get up before the first rays of the sun. So much to straighten and polish and brush. Shabbat is coming. Rush, rush, rush. Flour and sugar, salt, eggs and yeast. Knead them together, prepare for a feast. Braid them and wait till they double in size. Put them aside now. Rise, rise, rise. Out comes a mixer, let's whip up a treat. Special for Shabbat, something that's sweet. Challah is ready, so is the cake. Into the oven, bake, bake, bake. Shopping for chicken, vegetables too. Pick out some fruit, it's healthy for you. Cherries and melons, select the Best ones. Don't they look tempting? Yum, yum, yum. School is over just as morning ends with a Shabbat Shalom to teachers and friends. Get on your way. Now's no time for fun. Let's go. Let's get home quickly. Run, run, run. Cholent is cooking with barley and beans. Soups on the stove too with carrots and greens. Peel the potatoes and cuggle to fix. Blend the ingredients. Mix, mix. You got it. Mix. Open the closet, closets. Take out the shoes. Polish comes out in black, browns and blues. Put them down gently. They're looking fine. Rub with a soft cloth. Shine, shine, shine. Into the drawer go scissors and glue. Crayons and markers are set aside too. We will not use these in front of the Shabbat Queen. Put them away now. Clean, clean, clean. Sweep up the floors now, mop them well too. No time for resting, there's still more to do. Polish the kiddush cup, his cream and gloves. Get all that grime off. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh wow, look at that Shabbat table. Setting the big table with glasses and plates. Knives, forks and spoons, put each one in its place. Kiddush cup, colour tray. And at other seat, fold up the napkins. Neat, neat, neat for Shabbat. Oh wow, fresh from the garden, these pink and red flowers into a pretty vase. Give them a shower. Onto the table now, take a quick whiff. Can you smell them? Don't they smell wonderful? Sniff, sniff, sniff. <coughs> Clean up the bedrooms, tidy each bed. Blankets smooth over, pillows at the head. Go get washed up, give the babies a bath. Warm soapy water, splash, splash, splash. Bobby and Zadie, which is like grandma and grandpa, wait for our call, making them happy won't take long at all. A smile to each of their faces will bring, dial their number, ring, ring, ring. Down from the shelf comes a large silver tray, now get the candlesticks, that's where they'll stay. Put in the candles, straighten each wick, Shabbat is coming, quick, quick, quick. Not much time left now, is everything done? Quick, are you ready? Get dressed, everyone. Check one last time. Is everything right? Hurry, come down. It's now time to light. Light what? Oh, the Shabbat candles, that's right. Oh, wow. The sun is going down. What a beautiful sight. Everything's perfect. The house looks just right. Mommy's all ready and her children gather round as she lights the Shabbat candles. No one makes a sound. <coughs> 
Our work is all finished. There's no need to rush. Everything is peaceful now. Hush. What do you think the little boy and the daddy, where do you think they're going? I think they're going to shore, just like we did a minute ago. Excellent. And now for the fun game of what do you like about Shabbat? We are going to, and some of you might be thinking, Miss Smith, how are you going to play the game? What do you like about Shabbat? You don't have anyone sitting near you. I've just got the dinosaur. Remember the dinosaur wanted to come for Shabbat. I let the dinosaur in, but I'm not sure if the dinosaur's going to do any talking today. So, who would like to call some teachers and ask them what they like about Shabbat? Would that be really fun? Okay, should we see? Who should we call first? Should we try to call Mrs. Gross? I'm going to put them on loudspeaker so you can all hear them. Right, should we see? Right, what do you like about Shabbat? What do you like about Shabbat? We're calling Mrs. Gross. Mrs. Gross, what do you like about Shabbat? I like about Shabbat the challah. Oh, you like eating challah? I love eating challah. Thank you, Mrs. Gross. Mrs. Gross likes eating challah. Who should we call next? Okay, so Mrs. Gross likes eating the challah. Who should we call next? Mm. Did you say Mr. Freeman? Let's try Mr. Freeman. Let's see if he answers. Calling in. Hi. Hi, Mr. Freeman, what do you like about Shabbat? I like having challah with chopped liver on Friday nights. Oh, that sounds delicious. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Mr. Freeman likes having challah with chopped liver. What do you like about Shabbat? What do you like about Shabbat? Okay, let's see. Okay, should we call who? Mrs. Broza? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Let's call Mrs. Broza. Let's find out what she likes about Shabbat, shall we? Mrs. Rosa, what do Hi. you like about Shabbat? Oh, I like eating lots of chicken soup. Oh, that sounds delicious. Thank you, Mrs. Rosa. Bye, Miss Smith. Bye. So, let's see who could do it from the beginning. So, what do you like about Shabbat? What do you like about Shabbat? Mrs. Gross like eating the challah. Mr. Freeman likes eating challah and chops. And Mrs. Broza likes eating lots of chicken soup. Who else should we call? Who? Mrs. Rosen? Okay, let's call Mrs. Rosen then. Is everyone ready to hear Mrs. Rosen? What Miss Rosen likes for Shabbat? Hello? Hello Mrs. Uh, Hello Mrs. Rosen, what do you like about Shabbat? I like using my shiny candlesticks. Oh wow, well, thank you Mrs. Rosen. Mrs. Rosen likes using her shiny candlesticks. Who else should we call? And then we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the teachers. Let's see which one of you can remember the entire order off by heart. Do you think you can? Right, who should we do next? I think we should do... Hmm... Let's do, should we do Miss Corrin? Let's try Miss Corrin. I wonder what Miss Corrin's gonna like about Shabbat. Is she going to answer? Maybe not. Let's keep it ringing for a bit. Should we try her later? Okay. I think, who should we try next? Did you see Mrs. Barron? That's who I was thinking of. Let's try Mrs. Barron. Let's see what she likes about Shabbat. Should we see what she likes about Shabbat? 
Hello, Mrs. Barron. Hi. What do you like about Shabbat? I like eating chicken soup. Oh, just like Mrs. Rosa. Thank oh, you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Barron likes eating chicken soup. Mrs. Rosa likes eating chicken soup. Mr. Freeman likes eating challah with chopped liver. And Mrs. Gross likes eating challah. Okay, let's. Okay, and for the final one, should we call Miss Corin back? Because I really want to know what Miss Corin likes about Shabbat. So let's call Miss Corin once again. See if she answers this time. Hello, Miss Corin. What do you like about Shabbat? I like the chicken soup. Oh, that's so funny. I think some of the other teachers also like that. Thank you, Miss Corin. So funny. You're Bye. welcome. Bye. So, Miss Corin likes eating the chicken soup. Should we do one more? Just one more. Who? Me? You want to know what I like about Shabbat? That is so funny that you just asked that. Okay, Miss Mix, what do you like about Shabbat? I like playing lots of board games with my family and friends. So, who thinks they can do the whole order from the beginning until now? Should we try to do it together? If we make a mistake, it doesn't matter. We can try to help each other. Should we try? Okay. Okay, should we try doing the whole memory game in order? Let's try to do it. I might need I might some need some of you to help me out. So let I wanna hear you all together. Right. Mrs. Gross likes eating colour. Mr. Freeman likes eating colour and chopped liver. Mrs. Brosa likes eating chicken soup. Mrs. Barron likes her shiny candlestick. Miss Ooh, I made a mistake. Who caught the mistake? It wasn't Mrs. Barron that likes the candlesticks. It's Mrs. Rosen likes using her shiny candlesticks. Mrs. Barron likes eating chicken soup. Miss Corren also likes eating chicken soup. And Miss Mitz likes playing games with her family and friends. So that is going to be the end of our Kabbalah Shabbat today. I hope you've had just as much fun as I have. And tune in. Maybe in a few more weeks we'll have some other videos up. So wishing you all, you and all your families, a wonderful Shabbat. And look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.